have any utility bills, <laughs> high gas prices, none of those things, right? SD is in a much better place, and I hate to say it, but she's probably not even thinking about us at all. Yeah. She's seeing things that we can only wonder about. So I wanted to start out today from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. And he says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, this is the Apostle Paul, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep, Jesus will God bring with him. And then I want to take you over to 1 Corinthians. In 1 Corinthians, starting in verse 50, we read this. Now, this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. But I will show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be right, incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. And that will happen. And there's nothing more sure than the Word of God. And here, in John chapter 10, I told you that you, that you believe not the works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But if you believe not, because you are not of my sheep, as I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. The Father which gave them to me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Esty believed that with all of her heart. And <coughs> everybody is going to die. There's none of us that's going to live forever. It's funny to all men who wants to die. Then the judgment. And all to be with the Lord, which we have. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, I just wanted to say that uh, Esty was an inspiration to me. Uh, she called me one day out of the clear and tells me she's been listening to me for a long time on the radio and wanted to know if uh, she could come out to the church. I said, yeah, come on out. And the next thing I knew, she was out there playing the piano and teaching me how to sing. <laughs> <laughs> and we had some, some very good times at her. We sang that one, one song, I've Got a Mansion. You remember that, Brian? Uh, folks, if you ever record a song, usually, especially with me, it takes a lot of time before you get it right, if you ever do. We got it the first time, didn't we? And it was because, it, listen, Esty showed us, didn't she? She just she always taught us. We're going to miss her. Yes. We're all going to yes. miss yes. Esty. Sure. But this is our loss and heaven's gain. And with that, I just want to test you folks that are here today that have a word of, of praise. Uh, my name is Vonda, and I've been her friend for 35 years. I know her mother and father. But as I ask the Lord, and, and you'll forgive me if any of you aren't Christians. I believe most of us are. But I asked the Lord, I said, was she in any pain? Was it quick? The presence of God came, and it filled my front room on Tuesday night. And he had his arm around Esty like this, and he said, she's here with me now. And as I felt his awesome presence... She said it was like that. I said, was it quick? She went like this to the snap of the finger. And she was ascended with Christ. And the love that I felt and the peace that I felt, she said, be sure to tell everybody there, don't cry. You know, not for, because we won't miss her, but because she does love us and because she was always such a great encourager. That Jesus wanted her to know and us to know through him that she, you know, came home safely and easily and graciously and really wants you to rejoice all of you and that's the truth and that was just his presence of love <clears throat> like the apostle paul said he's caught the priest too one that yes. go home yes and go go to his rest and yeah. you have finished placing up the crowns in heaven <laughs> and uh that's where esty was sunday which was mother's day Okay, 
are coming, we are coming. And she said, yes, yeah, something. And he uh, said, it, Martin. And he yes, yes, I want to see you, Martin. I want to see you, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> she was watching me now. I she can break the chance to see her. <laughs> the day after that, she called Sunday. And Monday, and Monday, Monday she died. I cannot think. No, she didn't again. tell me, I am not feeling well, I am going to die. No, she didn't. I know she was in pain, I know. But uh, she, 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 she liked life, so she liked people, she liked life. Yeah. She didn't want to die. Never, never. She, never did. She, she, t she told me, Mom, I know, uh, you know, I am in pain. I want to die. Never. Never in all she our conversation. <coughs> and in all of our conversation. And then when instead of coming in a month for the graduation, I came out. This is <laughs> She used to later to call me every day. Every day. Oh, tell me what's going on. I tell me about everybody. Yeah. I know many names. Yeah. <laughs> she used to go. I didn't have the chance to see her. <laughs> say the Kaddish, which is 
the prayer for the dead. She'll live again. That way, she will be protected twice. It got dull, it got dash. She may not be. The alma de the rock is out there. It's in our name. Not in the alma de the rock is out there. The gift of the people. The smart to come. The carefully shape. The high hold. The young hold. The high the hold of Israel. By the law. The bisman carefully. ויש לה מה רבה משמיה, האם בסבע, ששון וזכרה. לנו ולכל עם ישראל, ואמרו אמן. תהיה נשמתה צרורה בצרור העני. which I will translate for you. May her soul be always associated with the souls of the living Amen. who love her and whom she loves. Yes, we agree. Amen. Are there others? Pastor Sanders, I want to thank you personally because of your long-time radio ministry. Lord, use that radio ministry among many other blessings to help bring me to a saving knowledge of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, <coughs> completed one of a Jewish background, and uh, because I followed you in the radio ministry after years of listening to you, coming to your church, first met Esty in uh, September 2006, then I was blessed to be a part of a long time film ministry, as many of you know, radio ministry briefly, my dear brother Brian Hart, and I just want to thank each and every one here today for taking time out to uh, help uh, remember Esty and my good Lord's grace, Brian, myself, and others for uh, carrying the torch and uh, producing and work will continue by the Lord's grace to bless me. Thank you very much. Well, my name's Stephanie. I just would like to say I worked with SD Monday afternoon, uh, from 3 to 5, promoting the film that he Eric was just talking about. And uh, in all the pain that she was in, she had such a great love for the Lord. Amen. And she just, you know, she was more concerned about how I was getting along financially since losing my job and my life than she was concerned with her own life and her own pain. And I'd just like to say that I believe she went in peace. Because she had yes. a great peace about her. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Some of you ladies might want to have a seat right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say something? I want to say something. Me and Nasty. Me and Nasty have been. She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Go ahead. Um, me and Nancy's been friends for 31 years. I've seen her in the good times and the bad, and I've seen her all the way through it. I took care of her like Brian did, and she was everything that you'd ever want in a friend. She was a good mother. She was a saint of God. I told her, I said, Esty, God helps me dry, draw from your faith that for me to keep going because I had deep problems with my legs and I see her get up with 23 diseases for a very long time and keep going for God and her biggest prayer was that God would bless you she loved you that much you were such a great inspiration to Essie every night even if she didn't call in she'd say oh it's time to turn on my pastor Sanders and she just loved you and the church and all the people of God. If anybody was an example of Jesus, Esty was, as far as to me, because I seen her before she got sick, and we were friends for a very long time, but I thank God that I had such a sweet Christian friend. Amen. She's like Paul said, I have run the race, Yes. and now the glory of God's before me. My daughter had a vision of her, Running the streets of glory yes. with that long, beautiful black hair she used to have. 
And I don't think we can be sad for her, but we can be sad for ourselves having such a great loss. She was a precious, she was a virtuous woman. Yes. Yes, Psalms 31. That's right. She was a virtuous yes. woman. Yes, she was. And I think everybody here today could yes. agree with that yes. because she just was everything yes. that everybody else wanted yes, to be. Yes, that's right. right. And she more. To the end. A yeah. lot of people wouldn't even got out of bed with all the things that's that she right. had wrong with her, yeah. but she kept going to God. the power of God. God. Yes. And when you was in the hospital, we just kept praying and praying and praying for God to rise you up and you're here today. So you were the people that were doing Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah me and yes. probably 50,000 yes. other yes. people. We're rejoicing. But I'm so glad that she got you as her pastor because yes. Thank you. our Thank precious you. sister Lucy passed on and it seems like people more our age are going than the elderly people. Yeah. God knows what he's doing though. Yeah. He loves we you are, so much. America's judgment is under fire not yet, but it's pending. And uh, I just say that to everyone, make sure that you know Jesus if you want to see Esty again. That's right. Trust him in That's your heart right. and live your life That's for him right. the yes. way she did. Yes, he is the resurrection in her life and our life too. Amen. 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 Uh, yes, my name is Nancy, and I know that uh, Esty was just a wonderful woman. I just want to thank uh, Pastor Sanders for being so faithful to uh, share the gospel with all these people on the radio show, Monday through Friday, which I listen to every night, Monday through Friday, 12 to 20. And uh, his, his love of the Lord and his desire to see those that don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Now, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior in 1980. And I was always religious, always went to church, but I did not understand salvation and the relationship with Jesus Christ. Now I have this burning desire to share Jesus Christ with anybody who will listen. John and Aaron and Pastor Sanders are such an inspiration to me. And I, I just wanted to tell Esther's mother and father how much she loved them. Every time I prayed with her, which was so very often, and God, God prayed with her every day. Loved you so much that she couldn't wait till June till you came out for uh granddaughter's <laughs> not graduating or her granddaughter's her granddaughter's graduation. And she just loved you and you to talk to her father. So I just want to share it. she was so open about this. And I think this is a wonderful testimony to SD out this year. I I talked to her. I haven't really known her as long as some of you, but love for Jesus Christ. I have never in my life known anybody with this many serious illness since my trip. I always thought about other people. Provided, you know, the, the word angel, angelos, doesn't always apply to uh, spiritual beings. Sometimes the word angels means messenger, which means sometimes it could be angels appearing as men or men appearing as angels. And all of you, in a sense, that everyone that was gathered around. The Lord blessed Esty in a way that he didn't bless us. He blessed her with so many people that cared so much for her that would always be there for her. And that's right. And, and they knew that she came to them. And she, she would always ask me any time to pray. Pray for my family. I pray for this person. Pray for me. And I don't think they had, we had one Thursday morning after the prayer breakfast where we didn't hold her up and say, and her prayer was blessed. Brian, what a faithful, faithful prayer. Yes. <laughs> Are there others that would like to give a testimony? 
I'm Yvonne, and uh, Essie and I used to have bands together. We used to go all over and everything. One thing I wanted to say is that Essie had a great personality. And I know that there's like a real spirit of heaviness, and that's something that is expected. But she laughed about so many things. And I remember that we used to go to places, and unexpected things would happen. And she and I would just go into the giggles because she had such, we looked at things so, you know, funny. God gave us a spirit of laughter all the time. And that's one part of Esty that I just want everybody to know, that she just had a great sense of humor and she really looked at things in a funny way. Lighthearted way. Is there anybody else on the call? My name is Wayne Davis. I have a weekly lesson in New York. Uh, I remember Essie and me, we were in a group together. I played the bass and uh, she'd sit and listen to me and counsel me. You know, really good in communi she could communicate and counsel and uh, really fantastic composer too. Thank you. Are there others that would like to give a testimony? Family or friends? Yes, John. Esty was my good friend, and I prayed with her almost every day, and she was a wonderful, wonderful Christian woman. She's a truly an example of someone who gave of herself. She was suffering so much, and all the time I've known her, I've never seen anyone that had that kind of affliction, but she was so patient, and she was long suffering, and she was so kind, and the way about it's always going through all that pain. She was faithful, she loved the Lord Jesus Christ above everyone else, and she wanted people to be saved. She worked for the man every day of her life. And she was just a wonderful example of a faithful Christian woman. Yes. And I know she's with the Lord, and I know she's abundantly blessed. And I know she would not come back here for anything. And that should be everyone's that what everyone should want is to find out what must I do to be saved, and the answer is clear. Whosoever shall call upon the Lord will be saved. And that is Esty's hope, and that is my hope. If there's anyone in here that has not called upon that name, you can see me after the service. Yes, I know. Thank you. Is there is there anyone else? Yes. I've known Esty with my wife for over 30 years. I've been neighbors for a long time. I got to know a lot about what she's about, but she never ceased to amaze me. She was a remarkable woman. She was a giving person. Even in her even in her suffering she gave. What an example for us. Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you. One other thing, there's many things I could say, but I'm not gonna take up time. If Esty's life has given me over the years a deeper appreciation for the Jewish people. Yes. And I want everybody here, and I'm going to say it publicly. If you call yourself a Christian, a born-again saint of God, you must love the Jewish people That's right. unconditionally. That's exactly right. And I take my stand, I love the Jewish people unconditionally. And we stand with Israel in these last days in their right to be in their land forever. That is God's land that He gave to them. 
and they will not lose it ever again. We bless the nation of Israel. We bless you yes. folks. Yes. We bless you with our whole heart. Yes. And we love you. Thank you for we care for you. And we pray for you that God will give you the comfort that you need in this hour. We love you. We treasure you. She was born in Israel. She grew up in Israel. Who spoke the name? Who spoke Aramaic? Yeshua. Yeshua did. Yeshua did. So, beyond and above all religious consideration, I must thank you. Because I feel that as a human being, she could rally all this unanimous suffrage on what human being she was. Yes. Religion can be different, but humanity cannot. I don't believe I, when I take that seat, will have so many people like me, treasuring me as my daughter. And be, although it was very difficult for us, to be honest with you, to be Jewish and to see your daughter uh, being buried in another religion, let's say Christian order. But uh, we got some kind of comfort because I see what we have given the world. And even in, this in her death, we can, my wife and I can be proud. We love her. We love her. We love you. I don't believe another human being could have so many sincere That's right. people coming. That's right. Not just pro forma her. to show that we, we like you. But I heard and I listened and I feel the sincerity and I see we have given 59 years and 40 days to the world and she was appreciated. Yes. Very much yes. I want to thank everyone yes. for showing up here. Yes, you did. Um, I love you all. Yes. I know that yes. being here, I know that some you. where we you were blessed by her. And now uh, we're going to play the last song that Esther recorded. And um, it's called Israel's Cry. Yes. And her dad will be speaking biblical Hebrew. We'll hear him also. Oh, that's Go ahead, Eric. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the me. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are found.
She's resting in peace, and may you all go in peace. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. I love your time. I'm Val. I've met you before, but I haven't talked to you for a few minutes. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, the world, you know, it's quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. uh, she always does.